Yes. Yes, back for the new year. Back for the motherfucking new year. Charles East platform, everything you need to know, when you need to know it. Last year, very successful. Very successful. First year, only year to have this YouTube platform, y'all. Oh, man. This year, our first show, we kicking this shit off with the new show on Fox, y'all, called The Four. Well, we got four judges. We got the infamous Pete Diddy, DJ Khaled, Megan Trainer. We got fucking, 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 fucking Fergie Licious from the Black Eyed Peas. And we got another big exec named Mr. Walk. I believe it's Charlie Walk, y'all. And I want to I wanna take time to give a little review about this show, a little preview, review, whatever, man. It, it went down tonight was the first. You know, it's a long list of talent shows, American Idol, X Factor, America's Got Talent. Now we have this, the full. It's more of a battle show. This is set up as more of a battle show. A lot of drama. The key thing, yeah, they got talent, but the thing is, they also have four up and coming artists that each one of the judges handpicked, and their seats is promised. And to another oncoming actor, talent shows their talent and shows and proves that they good enough to challenge one of the judges people in their seats to take a shot at their seats, a shot at their talent, a shot ah, a shot at their chance of stardom and fame, y'all. At their chance of stardom and fame. But the show, we kicked off. It was all right. You know, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of Hollywood shit. It was a 16-year-old girl who she wasn't all that good, had a voice that you kind of heard before, you feel me? But she was all right. The voice was all right. She couldn't move, wasn't a good performer, wasn't a good artist. So they passed her through, you know, politics as usual. They passed her through, and she calls out the Hispanic girl. The Hispanic girl, she was clearly more polished. Like I said, this shit was politics. It was planned. You got to understand with shows like this, with anything on TV, the bottom line. What is the bottom line? It's not always the talent. The bottom line is the money, man. Money is always the bottom line. You got to remember that. But anyway, the, the Latino girl got a raw deal. She was way more polished than this newcomer who they passed through the challenging. And also, P. Diddy's role, P. Diddy pretty much, he a truth teller. Uh, Cal and his role, he pretty much can be swayed either way. Then you got Megan Trainor. She pretty much, she let people down easy, kind of nice, soft. And, and, and Charlie, Charlie Walk, whatever his name is, you know, he's kind of cold, stiff. You know, hard-hearted. He's supposed to be the Simon of the show. You feel me? Him and Diddy was going back and forth. You know, this shit is all played up and shit. They going back and forth. They Charlie thinks certain people got good voices. Diddy like, yeah, they might have a good voice, but the overall performance ain't shit. To you young artists out there in America, a voice, a voice nowadays ain't just going to pass you through. Uh, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey ain't walking through them doors nowadays. You got to have an overall performance. I say that again. You got to have an overall performance. You got to be able to perform, occupy the stage in the right way. I say it again. You got to be able to occupy the stage in the right way. So, the highlight of the night is when this big boy, he from Brooklyn, Big up to Brooklyn. You feel me? He come through and tear the house down. This is right before all the bickering bullshit with Diddy and Charlie Walk. 
Big boy Saeed from Brooklyn. Come through, tear the house down. Man, he set the bar, set the temple. And after that, he challenged another black dude. It was a rap, man. Big boy was just, big boy was just too strong, man. I mean, a, a, a big chicken, greasy back, eating motherfucker. You know, taking plates and shit home. Huh? You feel me? Big Ruben stutter ass nigga. You feel me? Big fat ass nigga like myself. You feel me? Yeah. I could take a joke, motherfuckers. Fuck you. But anyway, my man Saheed, he came through. Blessed it, man. Set the bar to a to the highest level, man. Got his seat. He promised to go on to next week. His seat is secure, man. I think this show, this is a preview show. I think this show was all right, man. It, it wasn't too bad. You feel me? A few breakdown of communications, but if you got a trained eye, you can tell that. But if you don't, if you just a casual audience, that shit slipped right back to you. Like I said, it's 8.30, 8 o'clock every week on Fox, y'all. 8 o'clock every week on Fox, man. It's called The Four. Battle to be the best. Check it out, man. This the first show of the new year, Charles E's. We got a lot of big shit coming. The music platform, the clothing line, films, videos, what else? We even fucking with that, with the online crypto, uh, motherfucking, we <laughs> invested in shit. We invested this year, y'all. Online crypto, you feel me? I got a little insider information, man, about this online investment shit, man. But this is it. We got a lot of shit planned this year, man. New money, new year. No resolutions, because we already doing the right shit. Make adjustments through the year. Charles G's, everything you need to know, what you need to know, we the fuck out of here. Happy New Year, y'all.